Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's declutter series. I hope you're all doing well. Hey girl, hey! Today, as you can see by my title, I am back to share with you all this week's declutter series. I wanted to start off by apologizing to you all because there was no video last week. I am sorry if you were expecting a video. Last week on October 11th actually was my brother's birthday and it's tradition for him to come over and spend the day with my mom and I. So he actually came over on Saturday and Sunday. So on Saturday, I pretty much spent the entire day cooking. Long story short, there was no declutter series video last week. I hope you all don't mind the delay, but we are going to get going for sure. Anyways, if you are new to my channel, hey girl, hey, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video, enjoy the declutter series. I will have down in the description box the declutter series playlist and also the first video, which was my everyday makeup drawer. I decluttered this drawer right here. Also, just an FYI, I do have a Mercari page where I sell a lot of brand new unopened unused makeup if you want to go ahead and check that out I will leave my information down below if you use the link in my description box you'll get ten dollars and I'll get ten dollars I would really appreciate it you don't have to use my link but if you are interested in seeing what I am selling definitely check me out my username is beauty obsessed with a zero also, follow me on my social media if you're not already. Twitter, Snapchat, Instagrams, at Macholic. Again, it's a zero, not an O. There should be something right here that lets you know the dates. Anyways, oh, without further ado, get comfortable, get the snacks, get a drink, because who knows how long this video might be. Oh my gosh, are you ready? I'm not ready. So if you are interested in seeing my blush slash highlighter declutter, then keep on watching. This is everything that was in the drawer. I'm gonna start off by doing the loose or individual ones that aren't in the tray and then we'll move to the trays. Okay, so first I have my favorite and it's been months since I've used this to be really honest with you all, but the only reason why is because it was all the way in the back of the drawer. I had no idea it was there. So yeah, of course I'm keeping this. <laughs> I had no idea where it was, so I was like, oh my gosh, I thought maybe I had run out or my cousins had taken it. But yeah, this is Shaft of Gold. This doesn't get as much love, but maybe if I put it to where I can actually see it, I will use it. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. This is the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie highlighter. This is in Chasing the Sun. As you can see, it's still in the box. It's brand new. Oh, this is such a gorgeous color. But I have, I got this on sale, which is why I got it. But I think I'm gonna give this or pass this on or might put it up for sale in like a bundle. I'm gonna pass this on just because look at how many highlighters I have and <laughs> I haven't used it. So I've had this for a couple of months now. So I'm gonna put this aside. Next, I have my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Face Palette. This cost a very pretty penny, even though I did get this for the Sephora VIB sale. I actually really, really like this. In case you haven't seen it, here it is. All of the shades show up on me, which is amazing. So I really, really like this. I don't know why it's in the box, but it is. I really like it. So yes, I'm definitely going to keep it. Next I have the one and only Amrezy Highlighter by ABH. I've only used this a handful of times, but it's really, really nice. It reminds me of Oh Darling for sure. So yes, I am 
going to keep this one. Next I have the MAC Isabel and Ruben Toledo collection blush ombre in right peach. Do you remember how much we hyped this up? Like we just absolutely were crazy about this. Let me see. Oh, it's actually a really nice color. As much as I want to keep this, I just know realistically. You know what? I think I'm going to pass it on. It's definitely time to let this one go. So I'm going to put this aside. Next, I have the MAC and Mariah Carey. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in my Mimi. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. Love, love, love. So I will be keeping this for sure. The MAC and Nutcracker Sweet of Copper Face Compact. This has Whisper of Guilt, which <laughs> is why I'm going to definitely keep this. this. is another one of my favorite highlighters. I absolutely love it. So yes, I will be keeping it. MAC and L Seed. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Dima's Glow. I really, really liked this highlighter. It's just obviously the design on it too, but look at that. Oh, I'm a sucker for gold highlighters, as you know. So I will definitely be keeping this. The two MAC and Pony Park. These are the two Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. This one's in Sky's the Limit, and this one is in Cold Comfort. I'm honestly, it's, I think it's nice, but I don't think I'll use this one per se. So I think I'm going to give this one away, but I absolutely love Sky's the Limit. Look at this. I love it. Let me show you a quick swatch. Look how pigmented it is. Look at that. So I really, really like this one. I'm definitely going to keep this one. The other one I will most likely give away. Next, I have the Morphe and Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise. I absolutely had to get this for Bretman because I love him. But I haven't used it. And I regret not having the box anymore. But I'm going to put this up for sale just because it's brand new. And I hope... I'm sure someone will use it. I haven't used it. I haven't been tempted to use it. I really just bought it to support, but obviously I'm not using it. So I will be putting this aside. And let's move on to this first tray. Now, this one, as you may be able to tell, if you're a collector like myself, is filled with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. These are more a sentimental type of attachment with me because they are that one collector's item that I absolutely have to have so that is why I have so many of them but I I'm gonna try my best and go through these and see if there's any one like I can let go I'm not promising anything but we'll see so I have a whole bunch of these and I think they just mean so much to me because it was one of the first products that I ever purchased from MAC and I'm looking for them to see. I love them all. I can't get rid of them. This is my first one. This means so, so much to me. I would never, ever give this up, but this was my first ever mineralized skin finish. If you've been watching me for a while, then you already know. So this is warmed. And I absolutely love it. I would never ever give that one up. So let's see here. Highlight the truth. I think this was from the Taraji collection, which I actually really like. Then we have a swirl there. A swirl. <laughs> Global glow. I don't want to get rid of any of them. This is very difficult. Cheeky bronze. Okay, this one was from the MAC and Star Trek collection. I think I've just watched it. I think I'm going to pass this on because I haven't used this. I like the shade, but realistically, I'm not using it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one on. Yay, they got rid of one. Yay. Okay, I think this is a brunette. Yeah. Let's see. Northern Lights. This one was difficult to get. Oh, I love this one. Warm Blend. Oh, another Swirl. Earth Shine. This 
this one. I don't, I haven't even swatched this one. This is just the collector inside of me that doesn't want to get rid of them. I can't get rid of these. I just can't. It's just like emotional attachment, but I can't. <laughs> Let's move on to this one. Hopefully this one will be better. First off, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blushes. These were limited edition. And I really, I really like them. But I don't see myself using this type of color anytime soon. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go. Oh, that's really nice. Look at that. That's really nice. Like a subtle... I have a lot of highlighters though. I'd probably use this more as a highlighter, but I have a lot of highlighters. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. This is brand new. This was a little mini sample that they added in in order. This one is strobe light. You know what? I'm gonna put this in a giveaway or maybe like free gift with purchase for my Mercari account. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside as well. Next, I have the MAC Lunar New Year. I think this was, yeah, this was last year. This is the Love Token and Long Life and Happiness Powder Blush Duo. Looks like this. I'm honestly just keeping this for the packaging because it's super cute. I love last year's collection. So this is more like a collector's item, not so much. I'm gonna be using this every single day, so I'm gonna keep this. The Fruity Juicy Collection, Oh My Passion Pearl Matte Face Powder. Oh, this is nice, I have used it. Okay, I actually really, really like this powder. And at the end of the day, I can just pop out the actual product here and use the compact again for something else which is probably what i'll end up doing just because i love the compact so i'm going to be keeping this for sure next i have these two extra dimension skin finish this was from mac holiday this one is whisper of guilt and this one is show gold yes i will be keeping them both because first of all of course the compact and i absolutely love this look at Yes, so I'm keeping these for sure. Next, I have Hypnus Blush. This is a repromo. I think it first came out with the Foffy Collection. Ooh, who remembers the Foffy Collection? And then it came out with the Wash and Dry Collection, which I really, really like. I wanted to keep it because of the packaging, but as much as I like the packaging, I know I'm just not going to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this on. Next, I have the Ripe for Love Satin Powder Blush. Oh my gosh, what was this collection called? Temperature Rising, I think it was called. I absolutely love this blush. And look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm sorry. I need to keep this one. I just, I can't give this one up. And this one too. I love it. This is the MAC and Cria Petite Powder Blush in Linda. It is the perfect, just every, as you can see, I have used it. It's just the perfect, like, everyday peach. And you know I'm all about that peach life. So, yes, I'm going to keep this. No shame. Powder blush in Adobe Brick. I would probably never, ever use this, to be honest with you all. But I loved it for the packaging. But I'm never going to use it. I think it's time to let it go. Yeah, I think it's time because I'm just keeping it for the packaging. So, that's not fair. Let's hopefully get this to a better home. I will never give this up. This is the MAC Modern Mandarin Blush. I absolutely, gosh, I cannot say enough good things about this blush. I love it, and no, I will not give it. <laughs> Next is this Mineralized Blush in Alert to Love. Looks like this. This is in the same collection that Private Party the lipstick came out and you know I'm all about that lipstick. Oh, this is like just a soft peach color as well. You know what? I think I can do without it. It's a really gorgeous color. It's like a really soft peach, but I would much rather have Linda or Modern Mandarin. So you know what? I think it's time to let this one go. Another favorite of mine, this one I'm just keeping for the packaging. It's a really great blush itself, as you can see, has been loved. This one is just like, hopefully you can see, it's like 
it's like a really nice neutral blush but this one I just keep for collector's sake. This is the MAC in Riri, Bad Girl Gone Good Powder Blush. I absolutely love this, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it. MAC in Mariah Carey Powder Blush in Sweet Sweet Fantasy. I don't think I've used this. You know what? It looks a lot more pink in the camera, but you know I love this collection. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on just because I haven't used it and I probably won't. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on. This is the First Waves Pearl Matte Face Powder. I actually really like this and this is more like a collector's item. Look at this gorgeousness. I love this. So yes, I'm going to keep this. Again, this is more like a collector's item. I really, really like it. This is also a collector's item. I'm not using it, but look, I'm not going to give this up. Sweet Vision Magic Dust Powder. Kind of like blush. You can use this for blush, highlighter. Look at this. Oh gosh, I forgot how pigmented that is. Look at that. I think I kept this more for the compact, but I haven't used this. I can't remember the last time I used it, so I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. MAC Surf Baby. This is the My Paradise Cheek powder i absolutely love this this again is more look at this isn't that gorgeous this is more for a collector's item oh, i love this it's the sideshow you powder blush which i absolutely loved you can see there there we go kind of even it out yeah i love this look at that it's so pigmented i love it this is more collector's item. We'll keep. These, I'm sorry. I already know I'm going to keep. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this, but I feel just like the collector inside of me just wants to keep a memento. I probably, I'm pretty sure I have the brushes too, but I really want to keep this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. And then this, I'm just using the compact. This, I'm using the compact as well because that's, yeah vintage grape i think this is a new one because i know i used up the first one so i love this one i was thinking about putting this aside but i can't remember me having anything else from this collection so i want to keep it but the blush itself here is actually really really nice you see that so i do want to keep it obviously i won't use it but I do like, look at that green. I just love this green. I don't know about you all, but I think I did a pretty good job. I took one out of here. Now I have space for all of these. I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, so before I forget, I did want to show you all what I ended up clearing out. A lot of these things are going to be, well, this one's brand new. This I'm going to gift. This is brand new. This is brand new. This is brand new. And this I could definitely get rid of, but hey, it might not look like a lot, but for me, it's a really, really big improvement. I'm going to go ahead and reorganize everything back in the drawer, and I'll be right back. And here is the final look. There's so much more space. I love it. There's more space on the sides. I absolutely love it. There's space here. There's a space there. I love it. I'm really, really happy. Really, really proud of myself too. So that is it for this week's declutter series video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, join the fam. Hit that red subscribe button for me, please. And don't forget to click on that little notification bell or else you probably won't see me in your subscription box. So be sure to click on that little bell for me. I hope you all enjoyed it. It might not seem like a lot, but this drawer is definitely my favorite especially because of my msfs a lot of 
emotional attachment but I think I did a really really good job personally if I do say so myself compared to the last declutter series video so I'm very very happy I'm being a little bit more realistic so thank you all so so much for spending a little bit of your day with me I really hope you all enjoyed the video I will see you all next week let's do a sneak peek oh these next two drawers are going to be crazy get ready yep get ready those two drawers are going to be crazy thank you all so so much again for watching stay tuned for next week's declare series thank you for helping me clear out my blush highlight drawer again if you are interested in checking out what i have for sale i'll be making makeup bundles check out my mercari page it is linked down below in the description box and with that i will see you all next week bye everyone